What are the gas laws? The gas laws are the experimental observation of gas behavior, which the kinetic molecular theory attempts to explain. The first series of gas laws uses before conditions represented by subscripts of 1 and after conditions represented by subscripts of 2. It's not that the equation is talking about two different samples of gases, but rather it's the same sample before and after a change. Avogadro's law relates number of moles and volume if temperature and pressure are held constant. Remember that all like quantities must have like units in order to cancel. For example, this problem tells us the initial moles is 0 0.15 and the initial volume is 2.5 liters. The final moles is 0 0.55 moles and we're asked to find the final volume. These quantities are plugged into the equation. Algebra is used to solve for the unknown variable. The answer is calculated as 9.2 liters. Boyle's law relates pressure and volume when temperature and number of molecules are held constant. Remember to check your units. A gas sample is 1.05 atm when it's 2.5 liters. What volume is it if the pressure is changed to 745 millimeters of mercury? We're given our P1 and our V1. We're given our P2 and asked to solve for V2. Notice that the pressure units do not match. It doesn't matter which one you convert, you just need to make them match. Let's convert 745 millimeter mercury to ATM. Arrange the ratio so that millimeter mercury cancels and results in ATM. 745 millimeter mercury is the same as 0 0.980 ATM. This information can then be used in the Boyle's Law equation, which can be rearranged through algebra to solve for the unknown variable. The answer is calculated to be 2.7 liters. Charles' law relates temperature and volume if moles and pressure are held constant. Be sure to always change your temperature to Kelvin before using them in this equation. The initial volume is 10.5 liters. The initial temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. We're looking for the final volume if the final temperature is 50 degrees Celsius. Convert the Celsius to Kelvin by adding 273. Plug the known quantities into the equation and use algebra to solve for the unknown quantities. Calculate the answer as 11.4 liters. The combined gas law combines all three previous gas laws and assumes that nothing is held constant. As always, watch your units. This problem gives a lot of information. But remember that STP is hidden information, giving you temperature and pressure. The initial pressure is 1.7 atm. The initial volume, 1.5 liters. The initial moles is 0 0.125 mole. And the initial temperature is 298 Kelvin. The final pressure is standard pressure. We're looking for the final volume. If the moles is increased to 0.225 and the temperature is standard temperature. The 
quantities are plugged into the equation, and algebra is used to solve for the unknown variable. The answer is calculated as 4.2 liters. Why remember four laws when you really just need one, the combined law? Whenever anything is held constant, such as V1 equaling V2, then the combined gas law can appear like this, where V1 is substituted for V2 on the right side. But when two variables on opposite sides are the same, they cancel out. Therefore, the equation would be written this way. Anything that's held constant can simply be taken out of the equation. Watch as the combined gas law becomes each of the other three gas laws. If you hold pressure and temperature constant, you arrive at Avogadro's law. By holding moles and temperature constant, you see Boyle's law. And finally, by holding pressure and moles constant, you arrive at Charles' law. How can you remember what to hold constant for each gas law? Use these mnemonics. Avogadro's law holds pressure and temperature constant. Avogadro was a professor at Tern University. Boyle's law holds moles and temperature constant. The last letter of his first name, Robert, is T. Charles' law holds pressure and moles constant. Charles was from Paris. Watch an example of how to use the combined gas law to solve a problem when something is held constant. Remember, STP is hidden information. We have our original pressure and original volume and finally, the original temperature. We know the final pressure is standard, we're looking for the final volume, and we know the final temperature is standard. Remember that pressure units must match. Use the equality that 1 atm is equal to 760 millimeter mercury. Moles is not mentioned in the problem. Therefore, it's being held constant. It can be removed from the combined gas law. Quantities are then plugged in, and algebra is used to solve for the unknown variable. The answer is calculated as 14.1 liters.